So I made a viral tweet, just basically giving my thoughts on fighting games from the last 10-ish years, and I might have ruffled some feathers, possibly. Most people, from what I'm seeing, from the comments to some of the quote retweets, most people agree with what I had to say, but like, there are some people that was like, bro, why you say this? Like, what, what's, what's your beef? Store connections? I'm not gonna lie, store connections I put in there for click purposes. I knew people would go crazy that if I put in store connections, I already knew. But even then, store connections, I don't care about that game, in all honesty. We're not even gonna sit here and act like this game was good. Marvel Infinite, from a gameplay perspective, is a really good game. Arguably too much freedom in this game, but overall the gameplay is fun. But everything else is ass. Like everything else about this game sucks. Now this, this one pissed people off. This shit pissed mad people off. I'm, I'm gonna put it out there. Tekken 7, I, I'm i not too fond of that game. Tekken 7 has the issue of, how do I say it? Tekken 7 for me is too defensive. The game at a higher level, like to inter intermediate to high level, revolved around Korean Baghdad City. It was just, the game is way too defensive for me. And I did not like it. The game was heavily predicated on if you do not know how to move in Tekken, you're not going to do well in that game. Like, I'm, I'm fine with movement being a skill. People would just straight run from you. And I hated that about Tekken. I, that's the one thing I did not like about Tekken. And that's something they're trying to rectify now. And I think it's in a step in the right direction. However, I do think Tekken 8 is a little, is like a tad bit too aggressive. You have one game where it's like, the game is too defensive and do you have another game where it's too aggressive i think eventually tekken 8 is going to find the middle ground of like good defense good offense tekken 7 is just way too defensive and this game at a high level towards the tail end of it was boring as fuck to watch i'm not gonna lie to you i i'm not and it's not even to be funny i fell asleep watching grand finals uh evo grand finals for tekken 7 that shit is boring as hell watching arsenal and ash play this game at a high level towards the tail end of Tekken 7 was boring. I did not think this game was entertaining. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you, and this is gonna sound crazy. Tekken 7 was only entertaining for me to watch when a DLC character was on screen or Akuma. You got people that was really good at Tekken 7 that don't like Tekken 8 and will call Tekken 8 bad because they're not good at Tekken 8. I'm not calling Tekken 7 bad because I'm not good at it. I'm not good at Tekken 7. I'm not good at Tekken like that, period. Like, I think this game is hella overhyped. People have rose tinted glasses with how this game is and are looking at Tekken late Tekken 8 like it's like the spawn of Satan. We already just talked about it. Tekken 8 fire. I don't care what nobody say. This game gas. I love this game. I think this game is sick. KO14, we're not even gonna talk about that. We already know KO14 was not a good game for the most part. It laid the groundwork for KO15, but 14 is just a it feels like a beta version of KOF 15. It feels like if it, it feels like an experiment. It feels like the game they use to experiment with to make 15. It doesn't feel like its own game really. MK11 is not a good game from a gameplay perspective. I think that game is kind of whack, but as a product, it is a pretty good ass product. I'm not even gonna hold you. Way better than MK1, I tell you that. What the sad part about this is that I don't hate Strive. Strive is not Mm, I don't know. Strive is all right. I don't hate it, especially with season three. I think season three characters is pretty damn fun. It just Strive had to get sacrificed. I'm not gonna hold you. Come on, baby. I ain't even gotta talk about it. I ain't even gotta go into detail about this one. This this game is gas. I don't care what nobody say. Boys can say whatever they want. Ooh, drive rush, drive impact. Duh, 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 duh. I don't care. This game is fire. That's my baby right there. Street Fighter 6 is out here. What's up, study? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about this game right here. Shout out to Kami. Go to one of my favorite uh, Street Fighter content creators. He's funny as hell. But he had this to say on the tweet i never understood why people don't like street fighter 5 it is annoying at the start but that shit was amazing overall to be honest towards the end it was probably the most skillful street fighter game to date
Street Fighter V has a lot, a lot of issues. We're not even gonna talk about as a product because we already know as a product the problem with Street Fighter V. But Street Fighter V has like four fundamental issues: V trigger, crush counter, checkmate pressure. These three had zero checks and balances for each other. And what I mean by that is usually in fighting games, if something is like strong, there is something to counteract it in some way. V trigger literally just unlocks in a, a character towards the tail end of the game and it, it's just a full ass comeback mechanic that mechanic is garbage i don't care what nobody says v trigger is a is one of the stupidest fighting game mechanics i ever had to deal with crush counter is dumb as hell people swear down like S uh, yo street fighter 6 don't have neutral da, 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 just stand the third buttons was stubby as hell in sf5 that's one that's another big ass issue with that game the game's neutral was predicated around people just swinging fucking heavy normals all over the damn place hoping to god that they get a damn crush counter sf5 had a lot of checkmate situations in that game and it's dumb as hell like most of the cast can just do medium medium micro walk light into medium medium that shit is stupid Towards the end, it probably took it probably the most skillful Street Fighter game to date. No, it was not. And with all due respect to Kami, a lot of people that play Street Fighter V and was and was good at it, people usually like the previous game or like whatever game they were good at. Oh, this game was good because da 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 this that and the third when in reality they only think the game is good because they were good at said game they usually don't like the next game like that when they aren't doing as good as they hope and that's usually the case with a lot of these people that are complaining about street fighter 6. a lot of people that are complaining about street fighter 6 were good at sf5 and now in street fighter 6 the things that worked in sf5 don't work in this game it's the same case with tekken a lot of the people that were good at Tekken 7 and aren't doing as good as they hoped in Tekken 8 don't like Tekken 8 because they can't run the same tactics they did in Tekken 7. People got rose tinted glasses. People that did good in that game only look at that game as a good game. It's like, nah, brother. That game was ass. A lot of people talking crazy about MKX and I don't care what nobody said. This, this is one of the best Mortal Kombat's to date. One of, if not the best Mortal Kombat ever made. Literally, the only problem with this game is the roster. The roster isn't that good in comparison to every other Mortal Kombat game. But I guarantee you, if X had 9's roster, this would be the best Mortal Kombat. I don't care what nobody I don't care what nobody says. I don't even think I need to explain myself on that one. DOA 6 is just not a good game. DOA 6, I think even the DOA players acknowledge that this game isn't good. But we all know DOA 5 is just a much better game in comparison my god there were some people that was dead ass like coming at my head about injustice 2. i'm gonna say this and i said it before injustice is a much better game when both players aren't zoning injustice 2 at a high at a intermediate or high level and when there is zoning involved is one of the worst fighting games i ever had to touch this game is <laughs> this game is fundamentally dead the only way this game is fun is when both players agree to not zone and they rush each other down. When people decide to play Flash, Robin, Canary, the Turtles, Supergirl, the game gets really fun when you play those characters. But when you start touching Superman, Deadshot, Starfire, yeah, I'm not, no, I'm not playing that game. Hell no. Injustice 2 is not fun when you just gotta fight people and and they just pick, yo i'ma pick a zone they obviously gonna pick the best characters in the game and majority of the best characters in the game are zoners they're gonna pick a zoner and they're gonna toss shit at you and you gotta figure out how to get past said shit nobody wants to do that this game is ass i don't want to hit nothing S and hey snk family we up we up man snk family we up you know what I'm saying? I don't care that Fatal Fury ain't out yet. This game is going to be gas. KOF 15, netcode and matchmaking aside, KOF 15 is easily one of SK's best fighting games. We're not even going to go into that. Samurai Showdown, that shit is their best selling fighting game to date. Well, no, second best selling fighting game to date. City of the Wolves is going to cook. There are some apologists for BB Tag. I'm not going to lie to you. From what I've heard, this game has a ton a ton of fucking problems i'm not gonna go into detail but this game has issues a lot of them 
Too many. I would have to make a separate video to talk about this damn game. So, I don't hate Soul Calibur 6. I don't hate it. I actually like Soul Calibur 6. Honestly, in terms of feel, it is probably the best feeling Soul Calibur game since uh, Soul Calibur 2. It had to get, this is one of the games that it had to get sacrificed. Rising. Afternoon, my octoroon. Come on. So there are people that are upset <laughs> that I like Rising over Vanilla Versus. Y'all could kick rocks. I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with you. Rising is a much better, a much better game than Versus. That would this one ain't even up the up for debate. What's the next one? DNF. All right, we. I, I feel like I don't even need to talk about DNF Duel. The Nef of Duel. I actually like the game, but. They just stopped supporting it. They say, yo, six months, we not gonna put out nothing. We thought we was just, we thought we was done with the game when we put it out. Why y'all want DLC? There are people that are pissed that I put Smash here. I don't care what nobody say. Say what y'all want. Smash a party game. Smash is not a real fighting game. I don't care. Smash Brothers Ultimate will go down as one of the greatest fighting games ever made. And it's not just for the gameplay, but because of what it did for fighting games in general or gaming, period. This game transcended reality. <laughs> this game transcended life itself. We got Sephiroth, Terry, Steve from Minecraft, Mario, I'm Daisy, all in the same goddamn game. And you gonna tell me this game is butt? Nah, bro, I don't wanna hear nothing from you. They put Sora in the game. Kazuya, Cloud Strife is in the game. There would never be a crossover as big as this game. I cannot give this game this flowers. I have to. This is like once in a lifetime type shit. This game will probably never happen again. And the game is fun. From a gameplay perspective, the game is fun. So, all right. So here's the thing. It's not that I dislike multiverses. It is just that multiverses had to catch a stray. For content purposes, multiverses had to catch a stray. The game is all right. <laughs> the game is actually uh, not bad. And I hope this next coming release, the game is actually in a much better state than it was the last time we had it. Cause the game has some issues. Come on, baby, come on. Look, look, what, look, watch the, watch the chest bump. You know what I'm saying? Marvel 3, baby. Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is like easily one of the best fighting games I've ever made, man. This game is beautiful. This game is genuinely beautiful. It stands the test of time. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm gonna keep it being with you. To this day, mind you, I never, I didn't know how to like truly play, play this game like that until like two or three years ago. And I finally sat down and played with some friends and we was like messing with the mods and stuff for this game. This game is peak. <laughs> this game is gas. Like just on a casual level, this game is really fun. But when you really learn how to play the game, the game is just, it goes like up there. This game is sick as hell. And the modding community is keeping this game alive. Like shout out to the modders, shout out to Cali King and them. Yo, y'all are keeping this game alive. I appreciate y'all. Like this game is sick as hell. I love this game. I kind of ruffled some feathers with this one. Oh my god! You know why I came? You gotta. You can't do this. <laughs> you mean you can't do this? You talking about let it go? It's still there. I literally waited. I sat here talking in my black cape, waiting till the Street Fighter Two logo popped up on the screen. Why are you like this? You are a hater. I, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna keep it that a buck. That is the second best Street Fighter game. You're bugging out of your ass, I'm, brother. That is the that is the second best Street Fighter game. No, it's not. That game yes, sucks. I give it top three then. No. Because I put because so, so which one better, two or five? Why are you doing? Yeah, this? look at that. There's no way it's taking you that, this nah, long. Nah, nah. All right, <laughs> between nah, nah, between two and five. I'm picking yes, five. You're high. The only reason I'm picking five is because of Seth, Gil, and Akira, <laughs> and Luke. SF2 has no redeeming quality to me. He, he, he hates he, he, he hates original games, y'all. SF2, I, I sat here and fought a guile, and I could not play the game. 
This game sucks. <laughs> I mean, because it's the original game. This you game. You DNF Duel too. Why DNF Duel. Crusader. DNF Duel is gas. SF2 sucks. No, it doesn't. It's the same thing, but prettier. No, it ain't. <laughs> Why you gotta let the Pornhub rock? Because that's how he capping it.